Juki got the sauce, bitch. <laughs> if you guys can count, you'll realize that there are four Miatas in the shop. There's my blue Miata, Molly, the turbo one. There's the Rally Miata. There's Pasha's go-kart Miata. And another one, my friend's Miata. He bought it to take the floor pans out and put it into his other Miata. It's in the shop because we're taking some parts off of it to use for Pasha's go-kart. So uh, don't worry, I didn't get another Miata. It's just there for a couple days. Now today we are continuing working on the Rail Miata, and today's gonna be really awesome because we're finally changing the exterior. It looked the way it has for a while, um, besides the color, and uh, I I've wanted to switch things up, make things a little bit cooler and a little bit cleaner. So today we are switching up the trunk spare setup. Currently, the way the spare sits on the trunk, there are just two studs welded to the uh, the back of the trunk. The wheel sits over those studs and then you just tighten it down with a lug nut. It causes a couple issues. As you can, t you can tell, it ruins the paint for one. RP my spray paint. Uh, number two, it's constantly squeaking. With all that weight on the actual trunk, every time you go over a bump, it like stresses the lock and it, uh, it's just so annoying. And we now have two spare wheels. And I, I can't really stack two wheels on top of each other. I guess I could, that would look really dumb. So what we're doing, we're doing a trophy truck style spare mount. We're gonna cut a big section out of the trunk. The two spares will sit in that little cutout vertically and the wheels will be strapped down with two toe straps. I'm gonna go ahead and remove the, the rear trunk and the rear finish panel and kind of show you the idea. This is gonna be a fun one. So this is pretty cool, but obviously it looks dumb because they sit so freaking hot. Uh, the problem is that the trunk isn't big enough for the spares to actually sit inside the trunk. So you cut out this section, then the wheels can sit into this little divot in the trunk. So yeah, that's the basic idea. Right, so that's definitely better. The uh, wheels are sitting in there a little bit lower, but it's, it's still really not enough. If you look in here, the wheels are not even close to sitting on this section, but I do want to just go ahead, cut this section out. The wheels are probably gonna hit the bash bar before they hit the bottom, and then that will be as low as we can go, and then we can build the little bar, and uh, yeah. go pick up the metal I ordered. Now, I have to drive this car 45 minutes to go pick up the metal, so <laughs> I had to improvise. Right, so I got some metal. I'm gonna start by cutting the bumper, or cutting the trunk and the uh, finish panel. After a lot of cutting, we have them in, in and fit. It's pretty good, it's pretty tight, 
I might, um, I think I probably will trim it down a little bit more. You know you have knobby tires when like little hitched overlaps like that. That's pretty rad. A little crooked right now, but that is pretty rad. So we're gonna take one of these bars, bend it so it comes off the bash bar, up, across, and then back down. On the bash bar, we'll have a third brake light, and then we will zip tie the um, license plate, kind of like so. I'm angry. After buying hundreds of dollars worth of metal, I found out that this pipe bender is physically incapable of bending said metal without kinking it. Here's the one and a quarter inch stuff. As you can tell, huge kink. It's even worse on this side. It does one inch, pretty good. Point is that I cannot bend a pipe with this pipe bender. Never, never buy the hat, or fuck. I almost said the Haggard Garage. Never buy the Harbor Freight <laughs> pipe bender. I've never tried their tube bender, but pipe bender is terrible. That means I need to buy like a legit tube bender, and those things can be really expensive, and I, I can't afford that right now. So we're just gonna do this without that, <sighs> that rear piece. Just weld tabs directly onto this bash bar, and the ratchet strap will come all the way around. The only problem is that I don't know where I'm going to mount the, um, this, the, uh, the license plate. I guess I'll just mount it in the bumper underneath. I'm painting, I'm repainting the trunk because it got kind of screwed up when we um, cut it. I undercoated the, the back, which looks really nice, and I'll flip around, redo the tan. Oh, blah, 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 blah. I'm frustrated, very frustrated. Screw Harbor Freight. Right, so the tabs on the bash bar are awesome. They're working really great. They're drying from paint right now. I went ahead and made this. This is gonna be where the other side of the ratchet strap um, bolts to. This will sit inside the trunk, be welded onto that. I was gonna put this up here, but then I realized A, it's kind of ugly up there, and B, then I'd have to paint it and like rivet it in, and that wouldn't be very safe, so welding it in down there, boom. Let's go.
I think this makes me like the stock bumper less. The side profile is where it looks really sick. Oh yeah. After coming back to the shop the next day, I've discovered you can find my blood trail from when I cut myself yesterday. There's one drop. I ran through. Second drop, third drop, and I guess that's it. But it is daytime, so let's go ahead and take a look at this finished trunk setup. really quiet and really peaceful in this park. I really like it. But um, yeah, that's the, the new spare setup. Let me know what you guys think. I think it is really awesome. I think it would have been better if I was able to bend that pipe and use that, but we'll do that in the future when I get a pipe bender. Here's one question I have for you. Stock bumper or no bumper? I really can't decide. I think it looks pretty good with a stock bumper. I think it looks a little bit cleaner, a little bit more put together but I also think it looks a little weird because you have the super aggressive car and then you have a stock bumper. Even with the bumper cut and with this there, it just, it looks too stock. Now that I know how to weld and such, we could take the stock bumper off and remake that metal bumper that I had at, way at the beginning, but do it actually well. So I'm really leaning towards that. But um, let me know, let me know what you think. There'll be a poll on the top right. So I think that's right there for you guys. I know a lot of you guys are sad to see how, well, Kind of rusty and just destroyed the exterior of this car is and i totally agree i do want to fix the rust on the exterior and underneath i'm going to is it called por yeah por it's paint over rust it's like this really thick stuff that will it'll fix the rust but yeah i mean uh, it's just so annoying because like i paint this stuff so often and like i paint it well like all this metal stuff that we built you know everything that has rusted i have primered and painted you know and it still just rusts one thing's for sure we will fix the rust and eventually we'll get it professionally painted and it'll look so much better i'll stop talking thank you guys so much for watching this video if you did enjoy it please give it a like if you didn't enjoy it please give it a dislike but tell me why if you're new to the channel please consider subscribing i really appreciate it oh exciting thing right now i'm going to go work on the truck so you should have a truck video next time so that's gonna be cool peace out guys goodbye